Hey guys, so it's time to delve into the past. <laughs> okay, not with actual time travel, not this time. But I have been reminiscing about my childhood after I found some old photos. Check out baby Phil. You're all so jealous of that orange hair. I'm gonna have to get rid of the picture. There we go, jealousy fading. So I thought I'd use this excuse to tell you some more reasons of why I was a weird kid. I'm not sure why I'm sharing these with the internet, so let's get going before I change my mind. Shower. Up until the age of about 14, I sat down in the shower. And this wasn't just a single event. Every single shower I had, I was sat down. I don't know why I was sat down. Maybe I was just too lazy to stand up for five minutes. Maybe this was the origin of my laziness. Can I just make a side note that I now definitely do shower stood up. And also I shower with my back to the water and it's insane to me that anyone would shower any other way. I know like 50% of people shower with the water facing their faces. Why do you do that? Firstly, you've got the water spraying into your eyes. And secondly, you're leaving your naked back exposed for serial killers shower ghosts, wild boars. Okay, back to why I was a weird kid. Number two, whoa, lies. So when I was aged about five or six in primary school, I would tell the weirdest lies ever for no particular reason at all. Some classic examples are, Hey Phil, is your dad picking you up from school? Yeah, stepdad. Yeah, I'm actually half American. Sometimes I just slip totally back into it. No, I've got two brothers, the other one's in prison. So the weirdest one is when I went back to primary school in September when I was about seven, I started a new class and I came to school wearing this yellow wristband that I'd found at home. And this is how I explained it to people. Hey, what's that thing on your arm? Oh, this is because I have type X negative blood. Yeah, it's the rarest type in the world. Wow, that's really horrific. Yeah, if I get a nosebleed, I'd probably die. So I have to wear this as a nosebleed alert. Nosebleed alert. <laughs> I think I was just trying to get loads of attention, which links us nicely into my next story. Arm. I had an uncontrollable urge to have a broken arm. So my best friend in school fell out of a tree and broke his arm and he got to go to hospital. When he came back, he had a bright green cast on his arm and everyone signed his cast and he instantly became the coolest kid in school that day. And I wanted that. I wanted that so badly. I didn't want to physically hurt myself on purpose, so it would have to happen in an accident, but I was just willing that accident to happen. I've got a really clear memory of going to a wishing well with my parents, and we all flicked coins in to make a wish, and I flicked mine in, and I whispered, I want to break my arm this year. What did you say, son? I want to know the taste of beer. Don't worry, lad, you will one day. I wish I was a goose. Alas, I never got a broken arm and had a broken arm free childhood until I got to university and broke my hand in the first week in a piggyback race. That's another story though. <coughs> the fly. So when I was about six, I found what was probably a dying or disabled fly on my windowsill. So it was just kind of shuffling itself along. When I went near it, it didn't fly away. So I thought, new pet. If I zoomed in on it with a microscope, it'd probably just be like, kill me. I named him Mr. Fly and I got my mum to give me a little plastic box which I put holes in the top and I fed him jam on a pencil. Hello, new best friend. I even remember stroking his little head sometimes. <laughs> so I decided after about three days that Mr. Fly had been rehabilitated. So I decided to set him free into the wild like a nature documentary. So I opened the window, picked up Mr. Fly, threw him out into the sky to be free in your natural habitat. Except that didn't happen as he just bounced off the roof and then drowned in the gutter. Rest in peace, Mr. Fly. <laughs> so sorry. So there we go. Hope your childhood seemed relatively normal now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate your thumbs. And if you are new, then you can subscribe by clicking this box, which I've crafted myself. Uh, it should open in a new window, so you can click it now. Today's Draw Fill Naked is... Bye, guys. Subscribe if you're really liking what you see You definitely won't regret this, I guarantee Hey, I'm as an ING, amazing Phil Comment, like, subscribe and rate, you know the drill Subscribe if you're really liking what you see Come and join the Philly and family